Hi everybody, I'm Kimberly Edwards from cookingwithkimberly.com and today I'm going to show you how to make a chicken stock or really any kind of stock, um, beef stock or you know veggie stock, fish stock in your slow cooker. Right? Easy, simple. You don't want to babysit it. You don't have time to babysit it, but you need stock. We need stock a lot usually when we're making rices or when we're making casseroles, when we're making gravies, all kinds of things we need chicken stock for and to, and to give a little bit more flavor, right? And so check this out. We're gonna put it in our stock pot. Now, when I um, when I butcher chicken or I butcher meat or you know I uh, have extra bones left from a carcass that I roasted like a, a turkey or, or a chicken, um, I keep the bones. I put them in a Ziploc bag or a resealable bag in the freezer and for just a time as this. Now, you don't even have to use meat for this. You can just use these beautiful roasted bones. I also have some like extra skin and stuff that I had from like, the chicken, etc. So I've got just a big mess, conglomerated mess, right, of this stuff in this bag. So that's all going in. This is all flavor. This is unbelievable flavor. Get in there, bones. So this is one of my bags full, okay? That's where all of your beautiful um, uh, infused flavor is going to come from, these great bones, okay? Next, you're going to have some veggies. Now, I'm going to use some carrot and I'm going to use some celery today. Um, I don't always cook with onion and garlic, uh, and a lot of dishes require onion and garlic, or you, a lot of people like onion and garlic, but you don't have to always cook with onion and garlic. Um, you can choose, pick and choose what you want. Today, instead of using typical onion and garlic, I'm going to use Escape, which is a garlic, um, a, a garlic variety, right? And then this is some chives, and that's going to be my onion instead of using a great big bulb onion, right? So I'm just cutting chunks of these carrots. I didn't even peel them because I want to keep um, the skin, that's where a lot of nutrients are, and why would we do that when we're just going to, you know, make stock and throw them out anyway, but you want to get all that goodness out of them. I'm just going to rough chop this scape. I might actually only put a couple of those pieces, maybe three pieces, and I'm just going to put these uh, chives in. That's right from my garden. Some celery. Don't be afraid to use the celery with the leaves on it. They are edible. In fact, I prefer them in my soups. I like them like that. In it goes, in it goes, okay? Now, I'm gonna add some seasonings, right? We're gonna add some really cool peppercorns. You don't have to add any kind of cool peppercorn. You can just add peppercorns. I'm gonna add about six peppercorns in there. These are cam pot peppercorns and they're red ones. These ones come from Cambodia. They have a number of colors, but that's what the package looks like. And you can find these at campot-pepper.asia. Okay, they're yummy. Next, I am going to put a little bit of salt in here to keep everything happy and mingles. You wanna make sure that flavor is well-rounded. Just like a pinch, you know, maybe a, like a teaspoon. Okay, I'm gonna put in a bay leaf and a few mustard seeds. Don't ask me why, you need to have the faith Tiny is the grain of a mustard seed and you can make it through your day. Hmm? Now, you can try different varieties on this. You can put ginger in here as well, which I might do. Maybe put a little piece of ginger in maybe later. Um, but you don't have to. You can leave it just like this. This is pretty traditional. Now I'm just going to pour. The rest is going to be water. <laughs> okay, so I'm just going to pour water over top of it. You want to cover those bones. Lovely. Now I'm going to start this on high temperature. As soon as I see it, you know, simmering and getting nice and nice and um, hot, I'm going to turn it down to a low. And I'm just going to let that sucker rip for like, I don't know, eight, nine, ten hours, however long I feel like or when I'm ready to deal with it. It's going to have so much flavor infused into that and I don't have to babysit it at all. It's going to sit on my counter all day long. So. Make sure you check your timer, etc. cetera. Um, I would set your timer for a couple hours and then come back in here and check on it um, after it reaches that high uh, simmer and you turn it down to low. Let it rip, okay? I know you're probably wondering who this is. This is Joe. If you like my shirt, make sure you go check him out and grab yourself a shirt or some cool saying by Joe. He's a Joe Joe. Uh, go over there to kg2entertainment.com. All right, so I'll see you in hours. All right, well, we've had dinner, and I'm just turning the kitchen down for night, and I'm going to leave this stock going all night long. I have it on low. As soon as it came up to a nice heat, I turned it on low, and we're just going to let it roll all night. That is going to be so flavorful. It's going to be probably one of the best stocks you've ever had. Now, if you just open that up, 
and smell it. Oh man, it smells unbelievable. But I can't imagine how amazing it's gonna be in the morning. I'm going to set it on my stove top for the night time just to make sure it's in a nice, a safe spot. So I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Okay everybody, it's the next day. I've let my crock pot go all night long and get all that flavor out of those bones and those vegetables, okay? So now what I'm gonna do, I've unplugged it a couple of hours ago and now I'm going to just strain it through a nice fine strained colander or strainer. Um, I don't like to use the large ones because little pieces of bone, etc., can go in there. Um, so the handy thing about these crock pots from Rival is that they come with this corningware in it and it's already ready to go if you want to bring it somewhere or put it in your fridge, but I just want to strain this, right? Now I have this full to the very top because I wanted to get as much liquid as I could. Now we're going to discard everything that's gone in here, all the veggies, etc. They have no flavor anymore. There's no, no point. So I have a measuring cup underneath so that I know how much stock I'm actually going to make. Be careful. I did make a little bit of a mess. I would have done it over the sink, except I wanted to show you guys. So that's no problem, whatever. That's no big deal compared to what I just got, this gorgeous liquid. Now I have about eight cups of stock. Look how rich that stock is. It has some gorgeous um, uh, shine on the top. It is so flavorful. I've actually fed a couple people off this today already with some chicken and rice and uh, soup, etc. But um, that's what's up. Now you're gonna just discard these. Okay, and that's what you've got left. Now you can either freeze this at this point or you can put it in your fridge. And you've got chicken stock for rice, for soups, for stews, for sauces, for what have you, whatever you have, whatever you want to do, put noodles in it. I mean, it's it's uh, it's an essential part of cooking, stock or some kind of liquid that's flavorful. If you're making things that are savory, chicken stock is the best bet. I mean, it makes everything that much more tasty. Try making rice with water and try making rice with chicken broth or stock and you're gonna be like, totally, totally different thing. Anyhow, that's how you make, um, that's how you make chicken stock in that gorgeous crock pot. Again, this is from Rival. You can also check out the site, the Kick Cooking with Kimberly store online. That's shop.cookingwithkimberly.com. And uh, you can find this newer model of crock pot from Rival. I this is an older model. They last forever. They're like dinosaurs, they last forever. So it's a good investment. But this is an older model of the Rival. You can find the newer model on the site, shop.cookingwithkimberly.com. Anyhow, that's it, that's all. Easy peasy, I said it, I forget it. The next day, go for hours. The longer you can go, the better. If you can go overnight with this chicken stock, better off you are, the more flavorful it's gonna be, okay? And it stays relatively clear because it doesn't simmer, it doesn't boil, it doesn't move everything around like crazy, like when you do it in your pot on the stove. That creates just cloudiness, right? This stays nice, barely simmer. The top just boils, bubbles just a tiny bit, and that allows everything to just to like simmer around, just move around, that heat move around, all those uh, bones and the flavors, and uh, it keeps the broth nice and clear instead of agitating it, right? Anyhow, it's a nice it's a nice option for when you just don't feel like babysitting it all day long. Okay, this is super super fast and easy on your part preparation wise. And hey, I just strained it and now I'm ready to go. Freeze it or use it now, whatever. Anyhow, that's how you make chicken stock in a crock pot. I do hope you uh, try this out. Follow me on Twitter at Cooking with Kim E with a capital E. I hope you like the fan page. It's facebook.com slash cooking with Kimberly. My shows are on ifood.tv slash cooking with Kimberly and youtube.com slash cooking with Kimberly. And my site is cooking with Kimberly.com. That's it, that's all. Be a champion in your kitchen and eat deliciously. Bye.